hey what's going on everyone in this video we are going to see the up counter and also the down counter in order to do that one i'm going to open the this matlab matlab opened already i'm going to go to the simul link and first we are going to see the up counter to do that i'll go to the blank model and create the up counter first so first thing first we have to create our model in order to create our model first we are going to create a uh, first we are going to bring a constant to bring the constant i go to the library browser and then go to the commonly used blocks and bringing the constant right here and then we are going to need an adder for this so i'm going to go there again and adder can be found on discrete i guess and whenever you are in doubt whenever you don't know where it is actually you can always type here adder and it's gonna search it for you <laughs> okay now we found the adder here i'm going to grab that thing and put it down here and then we are going to need a scope i think the scope uh, will be in the So, so, so strange. I'm not sure. Scope. Okay, let's type that one out as well. Scope. Okay, that one is here. I'm bringing that one, and then we are going to need one more thing that is unit delay. A unit delay, I saw that one in the Mm-hmm. Somewhere here. Okay, here we go. Unit delay is over here. And we have all these things. The first thing first we are gonna okay, let's label this one to avoid confusion. I'm gonna also make it big. Okay, here we go. Uh Okay, let's keep the label sh shown. To do that, I'm gonna go to the format auto name and then I'm gonna get the stigma out. So it's the label is showing. Now, the first thing what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add the constant to this adder and then let's see what happens if we just add this adder output to adder okay and then we connect this one to this scope okay now let's go and run this one and see what happens you can see we are getting an error message that's because whenever we are giving an output it should always go through a delay that's the thing so here what we have to do is we have to just uh, connect this adder to this um, delay that's why we have a delay if you don't have delay you will get the error message now i'm going to add this one right here what the, oh i had to flip this one as well it doesn't work uh, like this so i had to rotate mm, it should be it's over here rotate and flip and then flip block okay now i rotate it and then I connect this one. Now I connect this one to this one. Now we are good to go. Now let's go ahead and run this one and see uh, what uh, we are getting. Okay, now to see what we are getting, click the scope, double click, and you will see this graph. And you can see this graph is going from 0 to 50. Let's say we want to just make a graph that goes from 0 to 5 
this is an up counter you know so that's why we we it's going from down to up now let's say we want to create an up counter that goes from 0 to 5 in order to do those things we are going to add one more thing to this that is actually switch switch actually works as if else uh, if else <coughs> if else um, statement it uh, it actually switch things when we don't want the things that is above or below like <coughs> if we want five we don't want five anything above five you know that's why we add switch here let's search switch here and we are gonna bring the switch over here now i'm gonna remove this one or all remove all these things just delete this and insert the switch over here now the first thing first we have to send this set the condition right we have this one zero now it is actually if it's less than 5 we don't have any problem but if it's greater than 5 we have to make this one 0 because we are trying to just go from 1 to 5 so if the g2 that is greater than 5 we are going to make it a 0 so in order to make it a 0 I just put a constant value I'm going to just copy this one and paste it over here paste it and then I'm going to connect this one with this one and I'm gonna make this one to zero. So whenever we have, um, whenever we have this one above five, it's gonna turn into zero. So we don't get any value above five. And then we are gonna connect this uh, adder with the switch directly. And then uh, if it uh, less than five, uh, we just uh, give the same output because we just want the less than five thing we don't we don't just want to go above you know so that's it now we give the this uh, switch to scope and now we are good to go let's run this one and see what we are getting okay there is something wrong here let's see what mistake we made here oh i forgot to uh, forget to connect delay over here I have to add delay okay now let's run again okay now you can see we are getting the graph that is going from 0 to 5 up counter then whenever it goes above 5 it goes to 0 then it goes from 0 to 5 again and it goes like that you know so basically we are creating first one one to five then whenever it goes above five it's gonna go to zero then one to five like that so it's just gonna continue like this now this is up counter now if we want to create down counter what we have to do if we want to go go do down counter only few changes we had to just switch things up if we want to go to down counter the first thing we had to do is we had to remove one of the plus because every time it turn around we have to detect one so we are going to just put minus plus here deduct one so it's one minus plus and then uh, this one should be downside now because we are doing the down counter so we just remove this thing remove the whole thing and also remove this thing remove this thing and we just have to add this one here and here like it's opposite like before like before we had down now it's up now we connect this one with the constant now we have to have a constant in order to do that now i'm going to copy this one and paste it right here and i'm going to connect this one with this one now for down counter uh, now before up counter we set the limit you know if it above five um we have to make it to zero but down counter we have to make the lowest one to zero so it doesn't go to zero like let's say if we get uh zero 
if we get uh, less than zero it's gonna go to it's gonna change into five it's gonna change into five that's the opposite you know before before we had this one zero and this one five now this one zero this one five and we connected the unit delay and everything seems to be perfect now let's go and run this one and see the results now double click the scope now you can see we are going from five to one five to one five to one <coughs> now you can see we are going one till one but let's say if we change this one into we have less than but we have also less than equal what happens if we do that if you do that less than equal the zero also will be included and it goes to zero as well so you have to be careful when you're adding the limit but the, when you put equal it means you including the zero as well but uh, before we what we, what we were trying to do is we just want to go from five to one so if you want to go to five to one you shouldn't have this equal sign because if you put equal it's going to be zero as well so this is not correct so we have to change it into um this this thing threshold is less than u2 okay now when we run again we are going to get to one that's it i hope you guys find this video help uh, find this video helpful thanks for watching See you guys on my next video.